this hearing's are always interesting. Always something like this. Not this. I've never seen anything like this. These are always interesting. Is that why you like to come? Yeah, I, I, like I told you. So I'm, I put them up on the internet. Yeah. So people who can't come can see them. That's cool. Yeah. I get a lot of them. Like, the sheriff mm -hmm. department will be extremely interested in this. The other sheriff deputies. Oh, I know. They yeah. can't come or they won't come. You know, yeah. They want to show their face. But they want to know what happened. Yeah, because they're friends with him. You know, or they know him yeah. or whatever. Yeah, but know. they don't dare. They won't. They, won't, they can't. They can't. They just can't. Oh. So. Well, that's cool. They'll watch it here. statements that have been made and uh, and uh, may lack uh, part, may lack impartiality and 
impartiality is um, a, a key principle, a bedrock principle of this board. In fact, um, the, uh, the uh, board's own rules state very clearly, not only must the board be absolutely impartial, it must always appear to be so. From where I stand, and I'm not questioning your integrity or your motives, uh, I just feel like there may be some evidence of lack of partiality and some evidence that suggests that Mr. Dean may not be able to get a fair shake, especially after some of the comments made by Mr. Winters. Uh, I'm not sure what led him to suggest that I may want him dead, uh, but is that type of remark um, that um, I believe has infected this body and may have rendered unable to make a, a fair and impartial decision with respect to Mr. Dean. Uh, during whatever adjournment, if you grant it, um, I will research the, the, the issues to see if I need to take any additional steps on behalf of my client. Um, I think this uh, step is necessary now before this board renders any uh, uh, finding and boards on the county manager absence. Your own rules state that there, you know, there is no other level of review beyond you. Uh, the, your own rules do not state that I may go to the county manager and, and, uh, and address this matter with him. Uh, since you're my final step of administrative review, according to your own rules, you're my last best hope. And if I, if for Mr. Dean's last best hope. And if we feel that, given the comments that have been made, uh, uh, that, uh, that this board may like partiality, may not be able to render fair and uh, uh, impartial for, uh, judgment in this case, we need a postponement so I can review the issues, review my client, and uh, see what our options are, in essence. I regret that it's come to this. I certainly didn't mean to. Uh, 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 cause any rancor here today. The only thing I'm trying to do is get to the truth. That's all. And my client's job is on the line. Uh, uh, he, he, he lost his job as a deputy. Um, uh, I think that he lost it uh, 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 wrongly. Not that he didn't engage in some offenses that he should not have, uh, but I don't think the punishment fit the crime. And I'm here as best I can to try to, to uh, address that situation and convince you good people to potentially reinstate him. Certainly he, cert he deserves some punishment, but I feel like the board is not really able at this point to listen to me thoughtfully and render a fair and impartial work. And I need time to review what steps I can undertake, if any, to right that situation. The question I assume you have, first of all, is whether or not you have the ability to grant a continuance. Your rules under section Roman numeral 4, B, in the middle of there, it's a separate number, says, the board may grant continuances or adjourn the hearing from time to time upon its own motion, upon joint request of the parties, or for good cause shown upon the request of only one party. Failure to grant a continuance for good cause may make the proceedings vulnerable. It's the county's position that, um, and, I, and I've told this to Mr. Blitch, that you are an advisory board only. You do not make any decision, any final decision, that that is the county manager's role in this, pursuant to the merit rules. Uh, I've suggested to him that he allow you to do your jobs today and go, we're, 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 I think we're closer to done than we are to the beginning. I know the sheriff's my final witness. I also feel from the perspective of a continuance that I don't, I think there's some, um, uh, some unfairness to the county at this point because we've laid out our entire case so far and he and you know we haven't seen anything of his case but that this, that's beside the point my my uh, opinion at this point is that and my suggestion to him was that he allow you all to do your jobs make your recommendation to the county manager and prior to the county manager making a decision that he has the ability to make his concerns known to the county manager and the manager can listen to the entire hearing if he feels he needs to to make sure the due process has been done um, and so that, for that reason, we are opposing any continuance. May I respond to that? Yes. There's no procedure in here uh, for me to discuss this matter with the county manager. And unfortunately, once the horse is out but of the barn... But nobody's going to stop you. The, the, yeah. mayor, the mayor will oh, say... He was making an appointment with him. Ma'am. Oh. He's allowed to, to, he is allowed to um, mm -hmm. consider things that are not part of the record in making his decision under the mayor rules. Ma'am. Yes. Uh, if I may. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, um, due process of law um, requires uh, that this man be afforded an impartial tribunal. And, uh, a, a, somebody to hear his case without uh, any preconceived notions or any ill will or 
uh, any um, uh, any other thing other than objectivity. Um, and uh, if this board fails to grant this motion and proceeds to this hearing and makes its recommendation to the county manager, uh, I don't feel that due process will prove that the requirements of due process will be served. These are constitutional issues. Um, they're not just, you know, um, niceties. Uh, they're not uh, 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 just, you know, uh, airy statements. They're bedrock constitutional law. Uh, if uh, a board does not have impartiality, I've raised the objection. I'm asking for time to study the matter, see what options might be available to my client. Uh, not only that indicate additional bias, <laughs> because my request is reasonable, uh, but it would also potentially be a constitutional violation. So uh, I respectfully request that an adjournment be granted. Uh, I don't know that we, uh, 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 I'm sure that we, given the fact that we've already been through this once, we could probably do it once uh, again more, uh, much more efficiently. Um, and um, perhaps opposing counsel and I can enter into some stipulations about facts and evidence to help streamline the process. You're shaking your head no. Uh, I'm uh, opposed to a continuance. That's, that's why I'm shaking my head. Okay. I'm well, opposed to a continuance. You made your position. I made mine. Uh, but if this board denies this request, which I think is a reasonable one, uh, I think it would only lend itself to even more of a 